Oh, Paimon remembers him. Isn't that Albert? Barbara-sama, uh, are you here? Uh, who, me? Uh, uh well, I'm looking for Barbara-sama. I was originally planning to give her some herbs at the cathedral, but Sister Victoria told me she had gone out to attend to some matters. When I sought Barbara-sama for healing recently, she mentioned to me that the church was running low on certain medicine ingredients. I seem to remember the ingredients she mentioned, some type of red wolf hook berry. I figured she was most likely somewhere out here picking wolf hooks, so I thought I'd come and lend her a hand. Besides, as leader of the Barbara fan club, how could I ever let Barbara Sama go wandering alone in such a dangerous place? So I decided to come to Wolvendom looking for Barbara Sama and picking red wolf hooks along the way. That's right, and I'll take them back to the church shortly. After all, I am the leader of the Barbara fan club. It's my duty to make sure Barbara Sama's life's easier. Huh? But uh, judging from your expression, you've never heard of the Barbara fan club. I, uh, anyways, the Barbara fan club will have to wait for the moment. I'll fill you in on how great it is when I have time later. I must keep searching for Barbara Sama for now. <sighs> I don't really even know if Barbasama's anywhere around here. Huh? Wait a second. What do you mean, anymore? Did you see her here earlier? So Barbasama is somewhere close by! Since Barbasama came here to pick those red wolf hooks, we could just follow the trail of those specific berries to lead us right to her. I heard it from Sister Victoria herself. She told me that she overheard another sister saying that Barbasama had come to Wolvendom to pick wolfhook berries. In fact, I could have sworn I heard Barbasama's voice when I came here. Uh, by the way, you didn't happen to see any sign of Barbasama when you arrived, did you? Uh, perhaps I was hearing things. Well, of course you didn't hear anything. You were focused on defeating monsters the whole time. Well, whatever. I don't have time to keep talking like this. I should keep searching for Barbasama, and you should go back to whatever it is you were doing. Barbasama! Where are you? What is he doing here? He's bound to find Barbara here sooner or later if this keeps up. Unless... We could start yelling, too. That way, Barbara will hear us coming, and we'll still have a chance to escape. Hey, what are you so embarrassed about? <sighs> Just follow Paimon's lead. Barbara! Oh, Barbara! It's us! Barbara? Where are you, Barbara? Huh? You're yelling even louder than me. <laughs> That's just because we like Barbara, too, right? Oh, I see. In that case, let's do our best together. Barbara! It's us! Are you there? Barbara-sama, where are you? Barbara's already left. Oh, good. <coughs> My throat is getting... <coughs> oh, I guess Barbara-sama isn't here after all. <coughs> no, it's not that. I just... <coughs> oh. <coughs> uh, all right. My throat won't hold up much longer. It's no wonder you've become the honorary knight. You certainly give it your all. <coughs> uh, oh, 
all right. It seems Barbasama isn't anywhere around here. Let's return to the city. <coughs> Once Barbasama returns to Mondstadt, though, I'll have to ask her to heal my throat. flowers growing here are some of the highest quality. I often pick them here, but why are there so many monsters around? <sighs> Let's take care of them first. Then we can look for sweet flowers in the vicinity. evil if you let it. Wait just a second. I'll have it healed in no time. That should do it. Okay. Let's have a look for these sweet flowers. Hello there. Uh, excuse me, but aren't you the deaconess of the Church of Favonius? Uh, yes, I am. Are you alright? Oh, praise the Archons. Please, can you heal me? I'm, I'm a hunter from Springvale. I was attacked by monsters when I passed through here. I was lucky to have escaped, but please, won't you heal me? Forest boar. I'm hunting forest boar. <laughs> when you think about it, isn't life just one big forest boar hunt? Look here. Aren't these monster injuries? How could I have done this to myself? How can you be so heartless? How could I make the journey with all these terrible injuries? <laughs> it's no wonder looking at you. You adventurers are all alike. Suspicious by nature. Sister Deaconess, you believe me, right? Heal me. I beg of you. Yes, I will heal you. Oh, his wounds look difficult to heal. I'll need some herbs. Can you watch him for me? Oh, uh, okay. But I should heal him first. Wait a minute. You know, I'm suddenly feeling a lot better. Where was I? Uh... Sister Deaconess, uh, I should be going. I won't be needing your healing today. Thank you. But we're, we're done here, no? Is there a problem? I haven't done anything. What's your problem? You're not making any sense. I just asked to be healed. Is there some law against that? You think I'm afraid of you? If you want to catch me, you better be up to the task. <laughs> Fine, you caught me. Like I said, I'm already leaving. Oh. Oh, thank you. I had a look at his wounds. I think he really did need healing, even if he was a treasure hoarder. Still, I'm sure you made the right decision. If he did have some ulterior motive, we might have fallen into a trap. Whatever the case, if he does have others lurking about, we're probably still in danger. We should go back to Mondstadt. <sighs> it looks like Chili Brew isn't in the cards this time. I'll have to get around to making one for you next time. I'm heading back to Mondstadt. You should come as well. Don't spend too long out here. Haven't you heard? Huh? Where did everybody... 
The lowdown? You mean you persuaded them to leave for now? I understand everybody's enthusiasm, but the longer I stay here, the more people will gather. It's always been that way. I just don't know how to turn them away. In the end, the Knights of Pavonius always have to come and restore order. Oh, if only I had your way with words. Here. It's the fantastic Summer Serendipity Coral Sparkling Tea you wanted. I ordered this one especially for you. I hardly ever get a day off. Why don't we take a stroll outside the city together and finish our drinks? It's nice to finally relax for a while. Thanks for accompanying me. Come to think of it, this is the first time we've gone for a walk together. When I heard you'd received the title of Honorary Knight, I thought you'd turn out to be more of a solemn character. But now that I've met you, I can't quite believe it. I never thought... Oh, I hope I'm not offending you. What I mean is, for someone as young as you to achieve the title of Honorary Knight, it's amazing. Jean must really believe in you to grant you this title. I hope I can be as great as you one day, so I can help everybody around me too. But for now, all I can do is sing. <sighs> so sorry, always thinking about myself. <sighs> We've walked a long way, why don't we take a break up ahead? Peaceful here. Nobody's passing through except us. Let's rest for a while. <laughs> oh, I'm so used to it by now, but thanks for wanting to intervene. Usually, the Knights of Favonius end up arriving to restore order. Then someone from the church comes to escort me away. It's happened so many times already, I don't really notice it anymore. Of course. More than a little, to say the least. But exhaustion for the sake of not letting everybody down is okay. <sighs> Thank you. It's been a long time since I've had such a long conversation. And it's all me complaining. Oh, thanks for listening. The support of an honorary knight goes a long way. <sighs> so, we've still not finished our drinks. Let's finish them off while we're here. We can rest today. But it's back to the grindstone tomorrow. Uh, picked. Thank you. I'm a merch. I had. Oh, so. No, besides, as a fist, I won't. I'm afraid it. Um, Leo, I know. You choose. Yes. This? I mean, sure. <laughs> I don't know if you'll enjoy it. There are two of you, so you'll be needing a couple of bottles. Here you go. Pace yourselves. Thanks again for your help. I better get moving. Leoi Chili Brew. I've never tried it. I wonder what the flavor's like. Well, here goes nothing. <coughs> Ooh, uh, spicy. Throat's on fire. Mm, this isn't like the Chili Brew I make at all. What do you think? <sighs> I guess we don't have to finish them. It's getting late, and I doubt there's enough time to go looking for sweet flowers. When we get time, I'll make some for you. My version's a little easier on the tongue, less stimulating. Let's head back to Mondstadt. My break's nearly over. Thanks for your company today, Honorary Knight. Even though it was only half a day, I had a great time. Next time, you can try my special chili brew. <laughs> so 
sorry for the delay. The chili brew is ready. Why don't we drink these here? Here. This one is for you. Let me know what you think. Really? Is the flavor okay for you? I was worried you might not like it. Well, I like chili brew because... Uh, oh, actually, it's a little embarrassing. At first, I drank chili brew just to keep me awake. When I first began singing practice, I had to get up early every day. After practice, I would go to work at the church to take care of official matters. But because I was getting up so early, my singing wasn't getting any better. Sometimes I'd be half asleep singing the wrong lyrics. It was a disaster. I went to people for advice on how to stay awake. They had all kinds of methods. Running, chewing mint. One adventurer even told me that they'd fight slimes to stave off sleep. None of those ideas worked for me. They were too time-consuming. By the time I started to feel awake, there was hardly any time left for practice. <laughs> that was until I started chewing Julian chilies. <laughs> That's what Sarah said. She told me not to chew them, but to use the Julian chilies to make some kind of drink, something milder in flavor. Using sweet flowers to temper the flavor was also her idea. That's when I started using this new and improved chili brew method. After a while, I actually started to enjoy the flavor. Whenever I drank it, the spiciness would always push me to work harder. I don't know what to say. My determination is nothing compared to yours. I heard Amber say that you're traveling far and wide looking for your sibling. Is that true? Oh, the things you faced and those yet to come are more difficult than a few bad songs. Even if I can't assist you in other ways, when it comes to healing, you can count on me. No matter the wound, I will help you recover. Oh, have I said too much? Sorry, I'm not used to taking a break. I keep boring you to death. It's not often I get so much freedom. Let's just... Take our time and drink our drinks. Tomorrow, it's back to chasing our dreams with hard work. I hope our dreams can come true in the end.